Okay, Jeff. Uh, one one draw at home to Hutton. Uh, their goal came very late, so we're not going to do the normal. Is it a point gained or two dropped? It's obviously uh, two dropped. Um, very late equaliser. They were down to ten, I think, as well with a single name. Um, so frustrating from that sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if we're being honest, that the balance of play, I thought overall was a fair result. Sort of one one. I think they probably tested Jack a bit more than we tested their keeper. Um, so in terms of obviously goal scoring opportunities, they probably had more. We we had sort of good sort of phases of play where we got in behind, especially in the first half, but we didn't really amount to much. Um, sort of like half chances fizzing up across the box and stuff. So, um, so yeah, it was it was a very tight game. As, um, and, uh, before the, the game, I sort of posted our sort of top sort of six results this season. And I think it was like before today, it was like four draws, I think two defeats and a win. So I'll just say to the lads in terms of like progressing or even sort of contesting for the leagues and sort of uh, player positions, you need to do better in that sort of mini table because mm -hmm. um, they come the cliche is six pointers, but they do become very important and not only that if you do end up in the playoffs you're going to have to play these teams again so these matches become vitally important and how the margins are so small um, it's, it's very important that we sort of try to adhere to sort of a game plan and see where we can get on the other side of it of a 1-0 victory um, so so yeah so I think overall I think if we looked we played better first half I thought we looked much more threatening because again our game plan was to get in and around the sides of them um, so they're going to have these teams, what you find, is sort of their very good structure, team shape, uh, don't really allow too much in the middle. But in terms of our wide players, I've often said I wouldn't swap them for any sort of team in this league. They're, very, mm. they're devastating when we can get them up to, up to scratch. And with Nora and Lewis, we know how devastating they are if we can supply the bodies to them. Um, but we sort of struggled a little bit to sort of get into that sort of like the 10 pockets. Because then once you get in those pockets, then you can release them. But I thought that the balls we were playing were far too deep, so we were struggling to sort of find those pockets, um, and that's what that, that continued in sort of like the second half, and it became pretty much a game, not really for the purists, if we're, if we're being honest, it yeah. became like the first and second war sort of battle, um, and that's how these games can turn into, so um, we'd always try and play, as I said, our philosophy is to try and play, and that's how we know we're going to sort of get the better of the teams, um, but as I said, we did play enough, for my liking anyway, um, as you say, um, penalty, Dubious, that's what I'll say about it. For <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually say I do that. I was going to come on to the penalty. Uh, dubious is summed it up, admirably. Yeah, um, but listen, we've been on the other side of them this season, so you know, to try to say lady luck, you know, it matters out across the season, so we're going to take it. Um, obviously, credit to Briggs, obviously, for missing last week and um, set up, put it in the corner. Um, yeah, then there on in, you find yourself in that position, you hope to see it out, um, and just got a little bit frantic. Uh, right at the end, um, and we was dealing with a lot of stuff that they had, uh, but it's just uh, a little bit of composure you you want, you know, in terms of take taking a bit of taking a touch, that I say, before clearing the ball because we swiped at it probably two, three times. Then he's ended up with a guy on the edge of the box, and he's pulled out a world heat. To be fair, great mm -hmm. technique. Ball's behind him. Um, I was behind it. It only turned, sort of came in right at the end, mm -hmm. and the game Jack was having, you would have, you know, you would have put him down to save it, but it was just the way he put it, you know, instead of standing. And yeah, and we couldn't. I said it's all about the last, pretty much last kick of the game, so we couldn't really get anything else to, to sort of like maybe get the winner as we had done previously before. So yeah, we, we take it really. As I said, we haven't been beaten again, um, and it's against our rivals, so they don't gain any points on us. Um, another big game next week, so hopefully, you know, if we can get a win, that'll be four points out of the two. Um, and then the following week as well is another big one. Okay, a few players coming back. I mean, maybe it took a little bit of time to gel, but Adam Junior. Who, uh, Fred uh, came on as well. Um, Jeff was playing back in the centre midfield. Um, that, I mean, didn't really gel, as I say. I think maybe a few people, Briggs, were starting again. Uh, maybe a little bit rusty or playing in unfamiliar positions, but good to get those players back and Bailey coming in next week as well. Yeah, of course, and that's what you will see. You will see rust, mm -hmm. obviously, from guys who haven't played sort of like, you know, multiple weeks. Um, so it's about getting that rhythm back, really. Um, but. We're at a stage of the season, as I said, they sort of got to play through some maybe injuries and just get their form as they're coming along. If it was early in the season, uh, we can afford to sort of reshuffle the pack and then give them another couple of weeks to sort of get ready. But, you know, in terms of how integral the players are, like Adam and Briggs and some Jeff in midfield and, you know, Fred as well, we, they, they just got to sort of like find their form really um, so we can sort of, like I said, get into those player positions because it's so tight. 
it's so tight, you know, you, you lose a couple, you can sort of drop down, um, you win a couple, then all of a sudden you're sort of nailed on. So it's so tight at the moment. So every game becomes, um, you know, a vital game. And it's good to have those players back and sort of their leadership skill. And, you know, again, they know it's all about philosophy and have been playing it for the whole season. So they slot in. It's just, as I say, getting the rust out. Um, and then um, finding that sort of sharpness back and then eventually the rest will fall into place. So um, yeah, it was good to have them back, as I said, we're still missing a couple. Um, and we have a few to sort of add that we've signed recently as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's good competition for the end of the season, so we'll be in a good position regardless to give it sort of a good go. Okay, um, running a coach at Dunmo next week, so we hope for a big uh, away support there as well. Yeah, um, it's a nice stadium and this is another reason obviously we we're so desperate to get promoted again, no disrespect to the middle sex and playing in parks and ropes around it and stuff, but to go to like a proper stadium, the fan experience is much better, um, so you're more inclined to sort of get a coach, you know, and hopefully, as I said, we can uh, put on a good performance, because uh, we all know from last time, um, again, a narrow game and, you know, we had obviously another sort of ref decision which sort of spoiled it um, when we played them last time, but we all know from last time as well, um, so we want a good performance um, on the 4G, um, which obviously suits us. Um, so we hope you know we can sort of like I said influence our game, impose our game, shall I say, uh, and then get another win. Like I say, four points out of these two games. If you offered it to us, we probably would have said it, but you probably look at it the other way around. So obviously, if you want to win your home games and maybe pick up a point away, so we just have to do it the hard way next week. But this is what this league's about, and this is what we're ready for. So we'll be good to go, and the boys will be ready after a week's training. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.